Happy New Year. No. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have head coach Amy Mallon, Mara Hendrickson, and Grace O'Neill. A couple of notes from today's game. Mara set the program single game record with 14 assists today, breaking a three-way <laughs> tie between Meg Creighton, Barbara Yost, and Heather Wellborn, who each had 13. Grace had a career high 19 points. We'll start with some opening comments from Coach, and then if we can direct questions to the student athletes first, please. Borrow your microphone. <laughs> um, I'm just, to see, the one stat line that stands out is the 25 assists on 27 shots. Um, I think that basically sums up Drexel basketball and what we're about. I think that stat, um, and, and have 10 turnovers against a team who um, was doing d different types of defensive schemes. So I'm just really proud of this win. It's the new year, our first home game um, here in the, C you know, in the CAA play against a very tough team. You know, we knew what we were in for, and we knew we'd had to be disciplined for the 40 minutes. And I felt like we were able to do that today and, and really get contributions from so many people. Uh, Grace stepping up today, taking shots. It, it's not a surprise to me her stepping up and taking those shots and, and making them because she works at those every day and we knew it was coming, but I think our non-conference schedule really prepared us for what we saw today in the different games we played. So I'm really proud of the way we stepped up as a group um, and played uh, team basketball. Hey, Maura, and everyone congratulations on the record. Uh, but it looked like they were absolutely positively focused on Kishana. So when you had the ball, did that give you the opportunity to look and see, you know, like who else was going to be open and, you know, getting the ball to probably the person in the best position? Yes, it definitely helped. And I believe our non-conference games helped a lot, too, because we've seen that before. So we were very prepared for key to get doubled the whole game and people stepping up and being confident. So just finding my open teammates and knowing that they'll make the shots. And for Grace, you... You began to score early in this game. How much of a confidence lift did that give you, you know, to keep taking the shots? Um, I think obviously making shots like gives you a lot of confidence, but a lot of confidence also comes from your teammates, especially when they see you and you're open and they're like, shoot it. You know, like that confidence going into even taking a shot and then can telling me, telling me to continue to shoot it um, really helps like when I do take the shots. Mara, great job today. Uh, you know, you found Grace, but also did a great job of finding Hedda Satman down low. What was it like navigating through that really tough Towson physical defense to find your teammates for those good looks? Yeah, I mean, they're a great team, and their defense is very aggressive. Um, they're big, too, so definitely passing around them was harder than before. But Hedda did very well on the inside and just got her hands up, so I was looking for her a lot, too. So she did great. And Grace, your first home conference game, you got a little taste of the physicality a little bit in the CAA. What was that like to uh, you know, get your first conference game under your belt? Um, it was really exciting to get that win and just start off the new, the new year. Any other questions for the student athletes? Grace, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. I mean, talk about the significance that the players, like Hedda, like Grace, stepping up, you know, knowing that the defensive focus was at, was really on Kashana. I mean, as I said to them before the start of the game, we're not going to see anything today. I think that we had didn't see in our non-conference schedule. Um, the different teams we played um, tried to find different ways to guard Kishana. And I think they're prepared for it. And so my thing is you're going to step up and take those shots. If they want to double, they're going to give us something um, which is going to be a high percentage shot. And I think um, we proved that we took advantage of that when they did, you know, so Satman, especially Satman and O'Neill stepping up, they've been, you know, they've been starting since the beginning of the season. So I think they knew exactly what to expect. So I was really proud of how they um, stepped up and did that today. Um, and I think it's hopefully just going to be momentum for them moving forward um, into next weekend. And knowing too, that you can stop Kishana for maybe much of the game, but probably not for the whole game. Did you have, did you have that thought going through your head too? Yes, I mean, when I looked at the um, sheet and saw the sheet, it still had 19 points, you know, and I think they actually really did a nice job keeping the ball out of her hands. I do. I think what happens is when you have other players stepping up in those roles, um, it opens up, you know, again, they can't guard her like that anymore because she was getting some easy looks. We, we were put her in a lot of the positions where she was screening to get them open, and then they would cheat, and she get, then she would get some open looks. So I was really happy with her staying calm out there and just realizing, hey, she had to be a facilitator and a screener today, and she did that um, for her team. And I think that's what we need her to do to win games this year. When did you know you were going to get Kylie back? Oh, when did we know? Um, 
probably before our first CA game. And I, she could have played in the Wilmington game, but we were kind of waiting just to kind of t- this weekend really start um, putting her back in the lineup. So I'm, I'm really excited she's back, and she'll be back um, full throttle uh, next weekend. So. Same thing. Uh, uh, new coach at Towson, same old grind in the game, but what well, always is different maybe from what had been the last several years from them. You know, I think they do, um, you know, I, I think some of the, I thought they were a little more patient in the half court, running some different sets and different ways uh, to force us to guard them a little bit longer in the half court. Uh, I think that might have been a little bit of a change, but I think they also are looking to value the possessions. Um, last year, I think a lot more transition you'd see with those the teams, but um, I do think, I think they have some of the same type of players and players that can do certain things on the floor. And obviously the rebounding and us putting them on the foul line is something we ha- we're gonna have to get, you know, get a little better at. Um, next time we face them, but I do think um, they're doing a nice job in building too with losing some players, but they have, they have some really nice, uh, obviously skilled players back. So um, we know when we play Towson, it's gonna be a battle and, I, and it definitely was a battle today. And I'm, I'm again, really proud of how we stepped up and uh, finished the game. We talked a lot about the offense, but now looking defensively with uh, forcing the 21 turnovers, how much did that help the offense, you know, to get the, the points off turnovers and, you know, for the runouts and easy baskets? I think that's huge because it gives us, um, you know, we don't have to slow down and, and try to run something, whether it's for a key or for anybody on the floor. I, we were able to actually capitalize on that. You know, you saw the points, you know, we had um, 26 points off their turnovers. So that definitely set a tone for us, especially when it's a little bit harder at times for us maybe to get the easy buckets. Um, I, I was really, again, and Hendrickson really sets the tone. I mean, she finds people on the open floor. If you're open, um, she's going to fire it at you, so you better be ready, which I love about her uh, watching her play. But I, I definitely think that was a huge part of our uh, momentum today. Yeah. Uh, Coach, uh, great win today. Uh, really a stretch of three tough ones at home you know, that with Delaware and Stony Brook coming up next weekend. But Towson really trapped Keishana Washington. They were all over her. How do you guys adjust for that, knowing that other CAA teams are going to see the film and maybe see how they can limit Keishana? How do you guys adjust to that going forward? You know, I think, um, I think like I've said before, I think every team um, in some way or another has tried to do a different, whether it's a double, I mean, Penn State, some people triple team like her. And I think as long as she stays composed, um, and she can, you know, when she's composed, she can do so many things on the floor. And she actually is such a great leader for us. I think we're going to be okay because I think she, she, as Grace said, when her teammates are telling her to shoot the ball, that's all the confidence they need. And when they're hearing that from the best player on their team and one of the best players in the league, that they have that much confidence in um, how they're playing, um, I think that makes a big difference. And I think um, I'll expect to see more of it, and it will probably come in different ways. But I do believe that this team is ready to step up now. Even Tori Haidu came in today and did a nice job defensively for us. We just talked about our defense, took a charge, did some things. And we're really seeing that our bench continue to get stronger. And I, I do think it's due to Lavelle being out for a little bit. Um, it's, it's forced us to... Um, you, you know, go to our bench a little more, but I think they've grown some confidence in it. So I'm excited about what I've seen so far. Yeah, and to that effect, you know, you get High Duke back. Now you have Lavelle back, even in limited time. She had some big shots, eight yep. points in 11 minutes. How big is it to have her back into the rotation to bolster the front court? Oh, it's huge. You know, and even a couple of the shots she missed, those are shots I think she is normally going to make. So part of it was just getting, you know, she hasn't, she hasn't played in, in quite a while. So I'm really excited. You know, I think, um, and everyone knows, what I'm finding with this team is people are starting to realize and understand you know, their roles in a good way. I think they each understand what they're capable of doing. And as, as I said, when she went out, I go, I don't need anybody to step up and be Kylie. I need you guys to be yourselves and continue to be uh, the best version of yourself. And, and they're doing that, and in doing so, it's really making our team stronger. So I think having her back, obviously, I'm excited. She came back, you know, you watch her at practice, and I'm like, wow, she's pretty good, you know, um, for being out for as, as long as she was. But, um, you know, we're excited just to continue to hopefully increase her minutes and as a group um, just continuing to focus on what we need to do um, one possession at a time. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Thanks. Happy New Year, everybody.